quick thought. Um, okay, I get it. Affirming that there is, um, uh, affirming that uh, that there is a God. That's a leap of faith. That's that's a leap of faith. Um, can't reasonably be substantiated. Can't reasonably be disproven. Um, it's it's a leap of faith either way. And because of the uh, the singular nature of the proposition, uh, proposition there's that there's that uh, that singular thing. And I am going to get back to that. Um, you know, uh, we either live in a universe where there is a god, or we live in a universe where there is not one. Either way, we have a sample size of one, so probability doesn't apply. Um, but so it's it's a blank assertion. Okay, okay, I get that, and I I get objecting to that. Um, but uh, just for grins and giggles, and I always have agendas with my grins and giggles. Um, let's try another. Uh, another proposition. Um, three words. There is meaning. Um, now, any clarification that you want to put on that, that's fine, but we're, we're starting with that base premise. There is meaning. It's no less arbitrary. Um, it's not empirically verifiable. It's because it's not something that renders itself, uh, that lends itself to empirical verification. Um, the question of whether it is factual, i.e. probabilistically verifiable in a um, sufficient number of iterations and instances um, to say that it is probably true and predictably true, uh, it doesn't apply. Um, it's it is incredibly peculiar to me that people would take such umbrage with the proposition that there is a god and at the same time have no difficulty whatsoever with the frequently unexamined the frequently unexamined conviction that there is meaning, that there is such a thing. Where that meaning comes from isn't the question. Um, whether meaning is something that is human created, um, that still uh, that still leaves us with the question of what is this thing that has been created? Has it actually been created? Have we instead created the impression of it and we use the impression of it interchangeably with the reality of it? And there we've got a pretty good model for a, a pretty good model for um, a, a, a justified transibility um, of a faith proposition if um, the idea of God is functionally indistinguishable from the actuality of God, then um, that, that opens up uh, many cans of worms, but cans of worms for both sides of the question. Uh, cans of worms for both sides of the question. Um, why is it totally okay, totally okay, to lambast somebody um, uh, calling into question their uh, their integrity, calling into question their capacity to uh, to function intellectually. Um, why is it okay? Uh, why is it okay for us to? I, I mean, uh, even even go so far as to um, uh, dehumanize and degrade people for an unsupportable, um, unverifiable uh, faith conviction in the existence of God when we do not typically extend that same level of criticism to the proposition of meaning.